TIFKID's DigiPlay Space is an interactive exhibition where educators and students can explore the latest in new media digital technologies. The DigiPlay Space is a fully engaged environment. Students are interacting with different installations. This isn't like going to another museum or art gallery. When we say it's interactive, it truly is hands-on. You walk in and all of a sudden there's this great space and there's various activities going on and you can see immediately kids are drawn to different activities. I think I would describe it as a place where there's like really high-tech gadgets that you can interact with. The creators at the TIFF Kids DigiPlay space are really as diverse as the pieces that are in the show. These are people coming from multidisciplinary backgrounds. These are artists, these are engineers, these are software designers. Really, the commonality is that these are all creative people using new technologies to explore new forms of storytelling and play experience. It's a pretty phenomenal environment where kids can come in and engage with these technologies in a variety of ways. So it's not just set up for one learning style, it's set up for a variety of learning styles. It takes takes them out of the sort of the screen-based media and, and is actually, you know, learning hands-on, doing activities, and kids don't often get to do that. It also is really interesting and different because you can, like, yell into a can and you can, like, paint. There was a little set of drums kit and that makes different sounds and stuff and sort of lights up different colors. We enjoy seeing it and banging on it and hearing the different sounds. In an age of technology where things are constantly being developed, I believe that it's great for teachers and students to come here and experience them firsthand. The installations in the DigiPlay space are curated to appeal to students from grades 1 to grade 8. They'll learn about the mechanics and the technology involved in the installations, while also touching on other areas of the curriculum, including math, science, language, and the arts. Technology shouldn't be used just to check off a box to say you did technology, but if it can be something that um, enables you to be more critical, or to be more creative, then let's do it. It's that creative problem solving, really, that comes out of it, of being able to step out of the box and, and develop the confidence to say, well, this is my idea of how I'm gonna use that. It's about getting together with your friends and sharing ideas and sharing tools to create anything you can imagine. It allows them to break down large concepts of technology and understand that even very complex robotic structures are made of tiny little circuits. This offers teachers an opportunity to learn just as much as their students. You go to you know seminars and panels and they talk about children and how children engage with media, but I think the best way to educate yourself is when you watch a kid playing a game and then you try and play it. I learn something new probably every half hour. By exposing students to the technology and tools that they'll be using in the future, teachers are really helping to set their students on the path to success. What you're going to see is aspects of these kids that you don't get to see every day because they're being confronted with something so new and different. It's an opportunity for them to really shine and express how much they know. This is about where art meets science. It's about them making and creating and writing and feeling empowered to go and make their own stuff. Plus, you'll be the coolest teacher in the school.